Hi, I'm Andrea Cariola with Project Geo. We're doing another episode covering GeoInt 2012, and I'm here at the GeoEye booth to see some of their demos. And with me is... Dan Damianovich, Director of Air and Marine Mapping at GeoEye. Okay. Uh, Dehan? Dehan. So what is GeoEye bringing to the intelligence community here? One of the critical differentiations that we make is providing actionable intelligence through building 3D products like 3D airports and 3D harbors. This takes the source information of our stereo satellite imagery and converts that into vector models of harbors and airports all around the world. These 3D models can then be used for mission planning, mission rehearsal, and of course mission monitoring and mission execution um, when you actually do what it is that you plan to do. Uh, this leverages technology that we've been building in an intellectual property over the past decade doing this kind of work on behalf of the NGA. We now continue to do projects for government customers. We also are expanding the same product family into the commercial space to enhance the safety of air navigation and marine navigation. Excellent. Thank you. I understand you have a demo to show us. We do. We do. We do. So this is an example of our 3D airport product. We're looking at, um, excuse me, uh, we're looking at Albuquerque, New Mexico. And uh, just to kind of orient you a little bit with what you're looking here, this is essentially a, a, a vector model of the airport of Albuquerque. You can see the mountains and the surroundings. The, um, the red is the runways, the orange is the taxiways, the yellow is what we call the aprons and parking positions. Um, the little white flecks are actually towers or, or some kind of vertical structures on the airfield property. And then if you look in the surrounding areas, the, the green pop-ups pop are obstacles around the airport that are potential hazard for navigation. The purple lines over here are things like power lines, as you can see the power lines would stretch out over areas in the surroundings that again could be a potential hazard for the airport, uh, for planes taking off and landing there. Uh, and then of course we also have buildings which are a hazard, and you can see all the power lines, various places there. Um, and then you, we'll turn on the building layer, and now you can see all the buildings in the area, which are also hazard in, to um, safe flight, whether it's helicopter or aircraft, or for example, UAV or UASs. In many cases, people are now operating remotely UAVs and UASs in, in areas that they have not been able to go to, Part of the value out of this technology is that it gives them, again, the actionable intelligence to know, can I take off and land safely? My UAV, my helicopter, my aircraft um, makes for a compelling display. Does this product um, enable the users to input their flight plans and those kind of statistics? Absolutely. It provides all of the sort of uh, workable geo database um, in, in the sort of standard ESRI shapefile formats and the, the, the digital elevation model is in DTED format. So all of the data can be extensible with the, the, the DOD customer's own information, with their own flight plans, with their own arrival, departure, emergency procedures. All of that can be added on to make an even denser and richer product. That sounds great. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us about your product or anything else at GOI? We are the largest company in the world at doing this. Since, since the early 2000s, we've, we've done this for over 3,500 airports all around the globe. So we're the biggest company, the best company at doing this, period. No qualifiers, no ifs, ands, or buts. We're the biggest and the best at doing this. Excellent. Well, thank you for doing it for the intelligence community. Um, I'm Andrea Cariola. This is Dehan GOI, and we're Project Media. Geo.